What's going on guys, PowerGPU here. Today this video is actually specifically for Wish You Luck. All right, so the main reason why I'm doing this video is because he's actually trying to put together a machine, uh, well, a nice machine, not just any old inexpensive machine. He's trying to get a nice machine for streaming and most likely for gaming as well, uh, especially I'm, I take it for Destiny 2 when it comes out on PC so we could stream it and play it at the same time. Now, before we get into anything, um, I just wanna let you guys know uh, for those of you that don't know me, um, I've been around with hardware and PC since 2001. Myself, I've been gaming on it since 93, but physically me building my own PC, 2001 was the first time I ever did it. Um, I built so many, I've built easily 500 plus machines uh, since 2001. Um, I built two of them in 2006 that got featured on Nvidia's website. Uh, I got SLI regular the month on there back in February of 2006. Uh, I was on there for a month straight. It was great. It was it was fun. But at the time, I wasn't doing any videos or anything like that, so I didn't get any really re any recognition. But anyways, that's not the point. So I've been around the block. I know a lot of good YouTubers out there that that I've been around with as far as hardware goes. I have benchmarked 300 plus video cards. I have benchmarked 200 plus processors, 200 plus motherboards, cases, power supplies. I mean, you can name it. I've just I worked at Tiger Red for eight years as well, so I built so many machines, at least three or four a day. So I've, I've gone through a lot of stuff. Um, I have used Intel my entire life, pretty much. The last time from AMD was in 2006. Um, the last time I used an AMD processor was the AMD um, FX series, which was a 939 socket, a long time ago. Um, and this is actually the first time, I, the reason why I'm making this video is because I wanna explain to you guys something. With the new Intel stuff coming out, Yes, it is great, but please do yourselves a favor and look up reviews and look up some of the stuff that a lot of tech YouTubers are saying. Um, this year, honestly, I can tell you from my own experience of me having, uh, you know, a 5930K uh, or, you know, a 6850K going to the AMD Ryzen, the AMD Ryzen by far is the best choice to go. And the reason why I'm doing this for you, Wish, is because uh, you were telling me that you're going to go with an Intel, uh, a 2011 socket version 3, and then you're going to go ahead and upgrade it to one of the new i9s when they come out. That's great, um, but I can honestly tell you for the performance and value which you're gonna get, as of right now, per core performance, yes, Intel's slightly better. And what that means is in some games, you might get one or two FPS more, but it just depends on the resolution you're running at. When it comes to raw power, as far as streaming, Twitch, you know, video editing, rendering, and stuff like that, um, it's pretty close. It's almost identical. The only difference is you get more cores with AMD, so you get less CPU usage while you're gaming on it. Uh, so what I'm gonna start off with saying, so I personally own, an AMD Ryzen. Uh, I own the uh, i7 1700X and I went ahead and overclocked it to 4.0 gigahertz. So it's pretty much running the same thing as an 1800X. But in your case, I'm going to recommend the AMD 1800X. And here's the reason why is you don't know how to overclock. I mean, I'm not going to run you through overclocking. It's, it's a long process. It's a lot of stuff. So that one already comes pre-clocked at 4.0 gigahertz with the boost. Well, 4.2 uh, with the boost. So it's already overclocked for you. You don't have to worry about anything. So I would spend the extra money and just get it done already. So you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Um, number two is if you want to upgrade the processor, the new AMD uh, processor is coming out later on this year as well, um, which that's going to be running 16 cores, 32 threads. Most likely it's only going to be priced around 700 bucks, 799, maybe around 800 at the most a thousand. I really doubt it. But um, when it comes to Intel this year, if you look up the i9s, which uh, let's let's go ahead and go here real quick. Uh, the Intel i9 lineup. Let's do this. Line up. Yeah, it was right here. No, that's not it. Of course, it put it put something else in there. There should bring it up right here. Here we go. So of course, looking at this, uh, if you want a 16 core, 32 threads from Intel, uh, you're looking around $1,700 is what you're looking at. Uh, if you go with an AMD, let's say you go with the 1700X or the 1800X now, uh, which is eight core, 16 threads, uh, when Intel releases their new stuff, it's priced at $600 versus 500. And you're actually getting, it's 24 PCI lens instead of 28. It's not that far off, only by four. You are definitely getting more L3 cache, which on the, on the 1800X and the 1700X, you're getting 16 megabytes instead of 11. So you're getting more performance there as well. Per core performance, uh, I can tell you right now, it's gonna be pretty close with these two because the higher core counts you have, per core performance does go down. So like an Intel Core i7, let's say 7700K that is out right now, 
is actually better for gaming than one of these high-end thousand two thousand dollar processors just because their per core performance is not as good as a 7700k is the way it works and of course the higher resolution you go like i said if you're running from 1440p to you know um 4k 2160p uh bottleneck wise when it comes to cpus it doesn't matter then it's just pretty much gpu at that point uh so this is why i want to make this video so that way you guys you understand um where all this information is coming from uh i will tell you right now personal experience from ryzen builds i've done already three with the amd ryzen um i had some a few hiccups here and there which kratos ryzen could kind of explain to you on that as well if you have any questions on that but um his is resolved this is pretty much it's 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 almost resolved i got to talk to him a little bit more but um as far as capability as far as com com you know everything being compatible uh, I looked it up, Magewell capture cards are great. They're pretty much open source, uh, which is kind of like the new Evermedia card that just came out. So that would be perfectly fine for you. Um, and then what I want to go ahead and do is kind of show you um, here on the screen real quick to give you an idea that PC, the final you know, thing that you sent me was that someone gave, well, well recommended an uh, Intel Core i7-6850K, the Corsair and the Asus X99 Deluxe 2 motherboard, Corsair Vengeance, Samsung 960 EVO 500 gig, um, Looks like a M status, yeah, M status lot. Uh, two, two, three terabyte hard drives, 1080 Ti, Corsair carbide, and the Supernova 750 watt. All right, so case is fine, power supply is fine, storage is fine, RAM is fine. Um, the only thing I will let you know right now, and this is why I say we got you got to do research. You can't just throw specs out there. The ASUS X99 Deluxe board, uh, it's actually one I've worked with, and I've actually had a lot of issues with it. And going here to Newegg's website, you can see here, it's got three eggs out of, out of five. Uh, going here, it has bad reviews, memory slot problems, USB port problems. Um, I mean, you can see right here, it died after six months, uh, garbage, uh, rock solid for five months, all of a sudden died. I mean, you have a lot of bad reviews here. Um, so this is one I would not recommend. It's unstable. Um, so far no good waiting on a return this one's been yeah see so it this is something i wouldn't recommend so obviously like i said you got to do research you got to make sure that these parts that you're getting actually work for what you're trying to do so uh going to the 6850k it is a good processor don't get me wrong uh for the price of 479 now with six core 12 threads you know 140 watt tdp it actually is a, a higher wattage than the amd processors now as well um so it will run a little bit hotter as well um it's a good processor like i said don't get me wrong great processor i've, I've had one uh this one's running at 3.3.6 oh, i just got a bug a bug one in my shirt um it's running at 3.6 base and then 3.8 um frequency so it's not bad six core 12 threads but six core 12 threads have been around for a long time i mean i'm talking a long time so this is old technology, um, it's, except for, of course, the architect is a little bit better, but um, it's not it's not worth it um, at that point for 480 bucks. You're pretty much getting older technology. Um, now, comparing motherboard wise, I'm going to show you this right now, going over to the AMD series. Let's say you go to the AMD side, right? Looking at motherboards, just because the motherboard is priced more doesn't mean you're getting um, a better quality you know, part. Um, it all comes down to features, pretty much. So if you're looking at all these reviews here, motherboard wise, it's just kind of funny, which a lot of people out there are probably gonna be like, oh, you're crazy power, you're crazy. ASRock in the past two years, in the past three years, really, they've been kicking butt. They've been surpassing ASUS, they've been surpassing MSI and Gigabyte. And MSI and Gigabyte have surpassed ASUS and ASUS is now pretty much the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to motherboards. And I can tell you that right now. That's why me personally, I don't recommend them anymore. Their tech support is terrible. They've had a lot of USB issues. They've had a lot of problems. So I don't recommend them anymore. Um, before, if you would have asked me on the X58 socket, which is five years ago or six years ago, I would have said yes. But as of right now, no, that's not the way to go. So in your case, I'm going to recommend you this board. Okay. And I'm going to tell you the reasons why. The ASRock X370 Tai Chi motherboard. Now, looking at the motherboard itself, it's got plenty of slots for you. So it's got one PCI Express times one, which is the top slot here, which would be most likely for your capture card. Then you have a PCI Express times 16, which is gonna be for your main video card, your GPU, which you're looking to get a 1080 Ti, which would be perfect. Um, then the next one down is another slot times, times 16 as well, which you can actually run another video card if you wanted to, which in your case, I'm not gonna re recommend SLI or Crossfire. SLI is when you take two NVIDIA cards, put them together, it's, it's pretty much combines them together and they're pretty much sharing the performance. You do get a lot of boost in performance on certain games. Not all games support SLI. 
So it's a lot of it's a waste of money now. It really is. Um, Crossfire is the same thing, but with AMD. That's that's all it is. Right underneath that PCI Express, and you have another times one slot. Which times one? All that is is just a smaller version of the PCI Express times 16. And then the last slot is another uh, slot, which that one will probably run at times four or times eight if you if you occupy the other slots uh, as well. So the reason why I recommend this board is from personal experience again the ASRock motherboards run amazing um and asus is actually doing very good on the on the amd ryzen boards um but i would still recommend ASRock in, in this case so if you're on a if you're on a budget though i would get the lesser version of it but i'm gonna recommend this one just because from reviews that i've seen with a lot of youtubers from personal experience as well myself this guy is the way to go um on the back here you got six usb ports uh it has built-in wi-fi which is kind of pointless at that point um and it has a thunderbolt as well which i don't think you'll use that uh but yeah this will definitely be the motherboard I recommend it's got 206 reviews and it's got five out of five stars five out of five all right that's it's great that is phenomenal uh so comparing processor wise the intel 6850k now going over to the amd ryzen here's the 1800x okay now here's where it gets interesting like i was saying it's got 74 reviews five out of five stars Again, perfect score. Um, it's got eight cores, 16 threads, versus six core, 12 threads. This is running at 4.0 gigahertz with, that's with turbo. Um, so base clock on this one is 3.6. Uh, it's got 16 megabytes of L3 cache, so it has more, meg it has more L3 cache, even than the new i9s that are coming out. Um, and this one is gonna run you at 459. So it's actually $20 less than the Intel, and it's a better performing processor overall. Um, you still get the DDR4 support as well. You get all the same thing there. But like I said, definitely I would recommend the AMD 100%. Now, since you're saying you're planning to upgrade later on when the i9s come out with, if you got Intel, AMD's come out with a new process called the AMD Threadripper. Uh, that will have 16 cores with 32 threads. And like I said, it's going to run around, right around probably 700 to $800, maybe a thousand at most. But that I can tell you right now is going to take the show this year, 100%. These are also running, like I said, lower wattage. So this is running at 95 watts uh, versus the 140 on the Intel. Uh, and again, from personal experience, I could show you here. I have the, um, oh, where's it at? Oh, where's it at? Oh, it's up here. From personal experience, I have the 1700X. And like I said, I have it overclocked. Right now it's at 3.89, which 3.9 gigahertz is pretty much what it is at. Um, and me running quite a bit of stuff right now. I'm still running OBS and stuff like that, Discord, a few other things. Um, when I'm gaming, like today when I was streaming, I was right around oh, playing Overwatch on the PC as well, max settings, everything maxed out. I was right around was like 40% usage the whole time, and that's running at 6K bitrate. Uh, 60 FPS, uh, max get settings or max settings on the game as well. Um, just overall, and it didn't hiccup at all. I mean, I had a few windows open as well with other streamers, trying to support them. I had Twitter open, I had YouTube open, I had music, Spotify open. I had all this stuff open, and it was still was barely even touching the processor. So, if you want my recommendation, I will tell you this: as of right now, go with AMD. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have said this if you would ask me last year or the years prior, um, because AMD has been bad for the past 10 years. Uh, so yeah, definitely go with AMD this time. I'm gonna send you a list. I'm gonna put the list together. I'm gonna put it down in the description below and I will also send you it to you in your private messages as well. Like I know we've been talking back and forth, but um, I'll send you all this and I'll send you the video as well. Uh, so I hope this helps. And like I said, if you need help with building the machine, I know you said you wanna do it yourself, which is perfectly fine. If you need help with that, we can Skype whatever and I could literally guide you through the whole thing. Um, I'm very patient with people. You can ask Brandon, you could ask Kratos, you could ask a lot of the other people that I built machines for. Um, I will definitely be patient. And if you have any questions or anything like that, send me a message. I will respond like that. I always have, always will. Um, so that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, hit the like button. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. Like I said, this video is specifically for Kratos. So I'll see you guys later. Actually, Guardian Con. I'll see you at Guardian Con. Peace.